Hey guys, welcome back once again to Earthbound, where the fun just never ever stops. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Also, in America, we don't say the word Q. We don't. I mean, we say get in line. We can't actually get through here, but we can talk to this guy, Poochie Fud. The Runaway Five owed me a lot of money. Really, that doesn't. Man, you must be cheating them really bad. Like, even if you just give them a... See, they owe you $10,000. That's right, we are the Runaway Five. It actually never says who any of the Runaway Five is. They give you one name that's Lucky. Uh, and they, but they never say who Lucky is, so you know you don't actually know anything about the Runaway Five other than they're a really cool band. That was a very pointless, pointless sign. I've already been to the Chaos Theater. Thank you. Hint, man. If you're looking for Venus's house, it's the next door. Venus becomes important later, but right now, not so much. Now, I'm probably going to get strung up and uh, drawn and quartered for this, but I, I actually, uh, some guy was like, you know, left a comment on the first video of this that he didn't really get into Luffy and the Fortress of Doom, but he liked the second one. Now, I can, I, oh shit, Crooked Cops. Not gonna fight that. Don't fight. Uh, that's just you've already seen them. There is an enemy I would like to show you around here, though. Let's see if I can't find one. Do, do. Actually, why walk? Actually, while I'm going this way, there's a couple things I can do. One, there's a gift box down here. I think it has a hamburger in it. So, it's that that's exactly who I was looking for. Yeah. Best enemy in the game. You may recognize this as Frank Fly's music. Uh, these are actually, I think, the only two enemies in the game. Him and the New Age Retro Hippie are, I think, the only ones in the game that have that music. Although it's actually pretty easy to never come in contact with the New Age Retro Hippie. Due to the fact that... Damn it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, yeah, what the hell. We'll fight her. Just so you can see her. Cranky lady. These cranky ladies are actually kind of hard. Like, you know... In a sense. You may have noticed that actually, actually there are no lethal KOs in this game. Everything in here is a non-lethal KO. If you're fighting a monster, they become a monster or a uh, animal, they become tame. If you're fighting a inanimate object, they stop moving. Three tunnel. Woo! Go back. Go back. If you're fighting undead monsters, they return to the dust of the earth. And if you're fighting people, they turn back to normal. If you're fighting inanimate objects given life, they stop moving. Nothing actually dies. And you get taken back out. So, you know, can't actually leave Tucson yet. And why do I keep doing that? I would also like to uh, mention that... God damn it. I would also like to mention that the bicycle music is 
really awesome. And you can actually ring the, the bell if you hit R. It's a nice little touch. But this music is not heard uh, ever again. I mean, as soon as you get someone else in your party, you can't hear this music ever again. Oh, there's another new enemy. Go ahead and fight him. The annoying old party man. And you know what? I don't like you. And he grumbled about today's youth. They obviously hint that he is quite drunk. Let's see. I actually need a couple hundred dollars, so I gotta get off the bike. Go into the bus station. That's like the third person they mentioned his wife and how formidable she was. Take it easy, chubs. And actually, if you call your mother, the first time you call her, she'll put you on the phone with Tracy, who now works for Escargo Express. Escargo, all right, Escargo Express is a very important service in this game. Basically, what they do is they do pickup and delivery of items. So if your inventory is full, you can send for someone to bring you some extra space. They come pick up three items, they take them back to Tracy. And what you can do is if you're in the middle of nowhere and need that item again, you can also have them deliver it. It's awesome. So I think you need $200. Actually, you need... Let's see, I need a... I'll withdraw $500 because I need to actually go to... Do I have food? Yes, I do. And I'll get to talking to those people in a little bit. First, let's talk to these people. Not that air-headed dweeby apple kid. Yeah, they really like Orange Kid, but... Uh, Orange Kid is kind of stuck up for my taste. Plus, he's useless. Yeah, Tucson is different from on it. We have Berglund Park. And on it has a library. Now, you can actually give Orange Kid money, but he really doesn't do anything. Uh, there's What you get from it is he gives you an item that sings the ode to Orange Kid, and then breaks, and then at the end of the game, during the uh, finale, his uh, dialogue changes. That's the only difference. So I'm actually going to save myself the money. Let's see. Broken Machine. I'm going to save that for later. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty. I've taken a bath in quite a while, so maybe kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. This is actually really important to the plot. If you've never played this game, you have to do this. Sure. Got the receiver phone. Also another plot important item. Although I'm not sure how Dad called us without the receiver phone. I thought you had to have that to get those calls. And whatever. First thing we're going to do, I guess we check these houses down here. Happy Happy Religious Group. Since I only got like a minute or so left. Meow. Yep, he is handy. Too bad we don't have him yet. That's what that broken machine is for, by the way. I've told you a thousand times, I won't join the happy, happy religious group. I'll pelt you with peanuts. Alliteration is fun. Oh, one more thing we can do before... Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just end it here since my phone is ringing. I hope to see you then.